Hello, my name is Courtney Buckley and I am the District 2 Assistant Fisheries Biologist. Thank you for the opportunity to speak with you about catfish populations in the Tar and Noose Rivers. In this nature break, I will highlight some of the catfish work the Commission is conducting in District 2 while focusing mainly on invasive flathead catfish. Catfish are among the most targeted species in North Carolina by recreational anglers. According to a recent survey, catfish account for 30% of the total freshwater angling effort in North Carolina. Catfish are not classified as a game fish and harvest regulations are liberal in coastal rivers. There is no minimum length limit and the daily creel limit is 200 in aggregate with other non-game fish. Current regulations have been a cause for concern among some catfish anglers, as 31% of anglers in the statewide survey believed current catfish regulations are not restrictive enough. Coastal North Carolina historically contained several native catfish species that are traditionally popular among anglers. These native catfish species include white catfish, brown bullhead, and yellow bullhead catfish. In the early 1900s, the channel catfish population was introduced and is now considered naturalized. Blue catfish were first observed during catfish surveys in the summer of 2010. Though their abundances are still low, there is evidence that population expansion is occurring. Flathead catfish became established in the 1990s and are now thriving. Since the flathead catfish became established, observations of native catfish have become rare. Flathead catfish are an apex predator. Their diet is comprised primarily of fish, and there is concern that predation and competition from flathead catfish negatively impact native fish populations. Some species of concern include native catfishes, river herring, sunfish populations, American shad, and Carolina mad tom, which is federally listed as a species of concern and state list listed as threatened. Uh, other introduced catfish species, such as channel catfish and blue catfish, are known to consume a variety of other food items besides fish. Therefore, their direct impact on native fish communities is considered less harmful than flathead catfish. Despite these serious concerns regarding impacts to native species, fishing for flathead catfish has become increasingly popular on the Noose and Tar Rivers. Many anglers perceive a need for conservation efforts, including protective regulations for flathead catfish populations. The Noose and Tar Rivers were surveyed in 2014 and 2016 to, to document the status of catfish populations and to determine the distribution of flathead catfish in these coastal rivers. During the 2014 Noose River Survey, 299 flathead catfish and 263 blue catfish were collected. Conversely, no native catfish were observed or collected. During the 2016 Tar River Survey, 208 flathead catfish were collected. Only one blue catfish and 19 native catfish were collected. The native catfish were all white catfish and no bullhead species were observed. These surveys show that invasive flathead catfish are much more prevalent in these coastal rivers than native catfish species. The flathead catfish length distribution from both the Noose and Tar rivers are, indica are indicative of populations with widespread size and age structure. The Noose River length distribution at the top is indicative of a healthy, well-established population. Annual mortality rates were calculated for this sample and were extremely low at only 16%. 6% of individuals in this sample were over 20 pounds, with the largest fish being 56 pounds. The flatness of the Tar River distribution shows that there is an almost equal amount of fish at all sizes throughout the size range, which is indicative of a newer expanding population with very low mortality rates. In addition, 11% of individuals in this sample were over 20 pounds, indicating that older fish are numerous. Surveys indicate robust populations of flathead catfish in central North Carolina coastal rivers. The high abundance and low mortality of flathead catfish indicate that protective harvest regulations are unnecessary and conflict with WRC management goals for invasive species. The observed low abundance of native catfish in the Noose and Tar rivers suggests that conservation measures should be considered to enhance native pop populations. Catfish will continue to be monitored in coastal rivers every three to five years to document trends in species composition and population structure. For more information, please see the Inland Fisheries Division's 
Revised Catfish Management Plan available in 2019. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or would like to learn more about catfish or any other fisheries issues in District 2, please feel free to contact me.